start rolling off her finger at the end. Wanted to push it with the finger to finish the extension at the very end, but gets one out there. A legal throw will get a mark. Yeah, we'll definitely get a mark that for Brianna Smith of the Cayman Islands. There's another Caymanian, Yanelli Dawkins. Ten point five two meters. Her best mark coming in. Lovely glide from the back of the circle to the front. Rocket right hand. Just needs to keep going with it and be able to put more forces behind the ball. Sends it down the center of the sector. The St. Lucian, Joy Edward. Edward, based in the United States. Her asset is speed and power. Quick movements as well. Has gone 12.93 this season. Howard, and uh, trying to get forward her best 13.28. Yeah, 12.95 meters for Joy Edward. So she puts herself in a position to challenge for a medal here. Kalia Jackson of the Bahamas. That is herself. Crouch is done a little bit, and that lowers the release point and uh, invites gravity to grab the ball earlier than if she finished as tall as she could at the front of the circle at the end of the throw. Savannah Joseph now, British Virgin Islands. Slows down at the end of the turn. That slows down the ball, leaving her hand. Right basic technique, spinner. The spin rare among these young girls, but as she keeps practicing it, she'll get it moved in. Savannah Joseph, champion at the under 17 level last year. Trying to make an impact in her first year at the under 20 level. This is 585 Clara Malispine of Guadeloupe. Two athletes from Guadeloupe in this lineup. And uh, Clara Malispine, the first of them. Very tall, Mali Spine. Seem to just be trying to manage her movements inside the circle. Her throw, legal though, will get her mark measured. Certainly, it will one competitor left in the opening round of the shot put final for under 20 girls. The best effort we have seen in this series from the Jamaican Britannia Johnson. And that came at 13.60 meters. And the final competitor, Jackie Prin Hyman of Guadeloupe, closing out the round. And uh, she got a red flag, so she starts with a foul. And uh, Hubert round one out the way in this competition went by in a flash the favorite johnson got the big mark out there and establishes her position normally is over 14 meters these last couple of seasons expected to get past that during the course of this competition yeah we didn't see the opening throw for her sister Brittany johnson who is another 14 meter thrower 
And we got a 1295 from Joy Edward the St. Lucian. So she has put herself in with a shot at a medal. And that's what you have to do. You can't control the other competitors in the final. You can only control yourself. If you maximize and that gets you a medal or fourth or first, then that's how you have to continue from there. The next event on track schedule for 10.34 here in the Bahamas. That is 33 minutes away. So a lot of field event action to get through until then. As we get ready for the shot put. And I just wonder if we've completed three rounds. I think we've completed three rounds and not just one round of uh, the shot put for under 20 girls. Because what seems to be happening now is the reordering of the athletes for the top eight to have a final three efforts. That might be it based on when we started to look and the look of our graphics on screen looked as if it was the first round, but it may well be that they have further advanced and we've joined them in the middle of round number three. Yeah. Yeah, so next thing we'll hear from that shot put area is the final eight for the under 20 girls shot put final. Javelin throw final, also in progress. Here's Kanika Kassar of Trinidad and Tobago. And that one just got away from her. And well below where she wants it to be. Lovely approach from though. Turn sideways on to get her left side facing where she wants the javelin to go. Just let us have done near the very end. Trinidad and Tobago and West Indies youth cricketer is uh, Kanika Kassara, silver medalist in the under-17 division from last year and has gone out to as far as 